Hi, and welcome to my November 7th video update. My iPad Mini 3 was beginning to show its age, and so I decided to update. And so I was considering, you know, whether I want to get the iPad Mini 4, the next generation of this model, or get the 2017 9.7, the tr standard iPad size, 9.7 iPad that came out in the spring. And then the more I thought about it, I thought, well, iPad 4, uh, Mini 4, is already a couple years old. And the 9.7, I did a little more research on it, and uh, although it has a faster processor both than the, the 3 and the 4, it uh, turns out it has many features that are still carryovers from 2013. So, I got a little radical. I bought the iPad Pro 10.5. It's quite a bit larger, and so you might ask, well, since you really love the size of the Mini, why did you get the 10.5? Well, mostly because of those reasons I just gave you. I, the, the options were, were kind of limited and I didn't want to buy something that was going to be outdated perhaps in April when Apple traditionally comes out with new iPads. So the iPad 10.5 is not as bulky as I thought it was going to be. I didn't get the 10.9. I really do think that's a little bit too big for me at least. It's fine for an artist or somebody, draw, uh, 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 somebody who's really using it to its full capacity. It's, it's doing fine for me. But at any rate, I'm very happy with it. And as I say, my reasons for getting the 10.5 in addition were that it is it ha does have one of the newest Apple chips prior to the release of the iPhone 8 and and 10. But it and it it has a so it has a, a lot newer processor and therefore it's faster. And uh, and fast is good for why one of the reasons that I was upgrading that was because of some apps that I have it wouldn't work on my mini and that I just wanted and, and I'm doing a lot of video editing on the iPad itself, so I wanted a, a machine that was going to be able to, you know, perform better. Another reason is, you know, it comes with four gigabytes of RAM, which also adds to the speed of the processing. And I opted to get the 256 gigabyte size as opposed to the 512, because I felt that 256 gigabytes on a mobile device, still way more than I've ever had. And therefore, I think it'll be okay for me, because I've gotten really used to conserving space and being very careful. And also, I'm going to try not to share photos from this particular iPad, because I'm going to keep my mini. And that way, it won't, cl if I keep a lot of photos on here, it's not going to clog up my iPhone. That was usually the problem with the Mini. They were sharing photos, and if I put a lot of photos on the uh, iPad Mini, which I, on which I had 128 gigabytes of space, it was still going to fill up my 32 gigabyte iPhone, and that was a problem. So let's take a look at this little device. So as I said, I I didn't get the 512 gigabyte version of this iPad. Rather, I decided to get the 256 gigabyte, and because of that, and because I was able to find a little bit of a a deal on the iPad Pro itself, I got the pencil. And the pencil is something I thought was kind of silly, but I've changed my mind dramatically because it is a uh, a perfect companion. To an iPad Pro. If you are considering getting an iPad Pro, I really recommend you get the, the pencil, even if you're not an artist. I'm in no way an artist. But the fact that I got the pencil brings me to the main reason for this, uh, this video update, and that is that it is a perfect tool to use with LumaFusion. LumaFusion is, as you know, the video editing app that I love to use on my iPad mini, and now I even love it more on my iPad Pro 10.5, because the precision that you can that, that allows you to make clips longer, shorten them, to uh, just all kind. Of, working in the interface of LumaFusion is just so much easier using the pencil because the pencil really is like using a piece of like using a pencil on a piece of paper. Another motivation for getting the iPad uh, Pro 10.5 was I could not use my new Insta360 One 360-degree camera with the iPad Mini, but I can use it with the iPad Pro, and, and, I, and I can use the app. You know, now I can plug the, the Insta360 One right into my iPad Pro, download videos that I've recorded or, or images that I've recorded to the app that's on here, the Insta360 app, 
and edit them. And it's a dream, just as it is with LumaFusion. So those are my two really uh, good reasons, I think, for wanting to improve the device on which I was working. And then another is, you know, it also gives, it opens up the opportunity for other applications. I'm considering getting Affinity Photo for iPad, which is a British uh, competitor to Photoshop. The iPad version came out in uh, June at WWDC. And uh, I'm just still looking at videos about it and deciding whether I really need that. So, so that was, that's my new news for this week. And maybe by the end of this week, I'll have some other new news. But thank you very much for checking in on this video update, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.